Hello everyone, today we learn, how to create this type of shatter effect in After Effects. Okay, first make a new composition and name it to shatter effect. Now import the image from project panel to the timeline. And pre-compose it to crack. Now, make a new solid for crack effect. And add advanced lighting effect to it. Change the origin and direction of the lighting. Make the glow radius to zero. Now, change the track mat of texture layer to alpha inverted mat. Set the lighting type to breaking. And check the box next to decay main core. Animate the decay to one to zero. Go to Expert Setting, and set the minimum fork distance to 500. Increase the conductivity state. Now, adjust the origin and direction to make a nice crack effect. Add black and white effect to the texture layer. Also add curve effect and adjust it. Make a new text layer and type the desired text. Now select the crack layer and set the track mat to alpha mat. Now pre-compose the text layer. and add bevel alpha effect to it. Set the light intensity to maximum value 1. Now duplicate the text layer and import the texture background below this text layer. and set the track mat to alpha mat. Now add shatter effect to text layer. Set the view to rendered. Now go to the shape and change the pattern type to glass. Increase the repetition to maximum 200. and extrusion depth to zero. Now go to force one and decrease the depth to minus 0.40. Set the position to beginning. Here, we have to decrease the size of debris. But, our reputation is already maximum to 200. So, for this we have to increase the text size. As we increase the text size we also have to increase the shatter radius.
Here, we can notice that. The shattered particles are cutting off due to composition size of text layer. So, we have to increase the size of text composition. Now select the both text composition and position it to center. Here, we are going to animate the force position. For this press the clock icon next to position at approx 1 second. And change the position in x-axis. Now go to physics and increase the viscosity, mass variation, and gravity. Select the text and texture layer, and pre-compose it to shatter. Now, duplicate the shatter layer for contact shadows, and add fill effect to it. Make it black. Now, add radial fast blur effect to it. And set the amount and direction. Now, pre-compose all the layers, and name it Shatter Animation. OK. Now make two new solid layers for BG and particles. Add four color gradient to BG layer and adjust the colors. Now, add particular effect to particle layer. Adjust particles per second from emitter to 110. Now go to particle tab and increase the particle life to 5 and set the size to 2 and randomness to 100 go to physics and open the air tab increase the air resistance to approx 40 Now go to Turbulence field and increase the Affect size and Effect position. Increase the move with wind to approx 600. And now increase the spin amplitude from air to approx 60. Now, turn on the motion blur of particles layer. Here, we need to add some shaky effect, for this make a null object layer. And add the wiggle expression to position. Select the null object layer, press P to open position, and then press and hold the Alt key on keyboard, and click left mouse button, and write this expression, wiggle, 10, 5.
Now, select the, the Shatter Animation layer, and parent it to Null Object. To introduce the text layer on screen, we need some time. So, have to delay the shatter effect about for 2 seconds. To delay the shatter effect, go Shatter Comp and select the effect, and animate the position, from Force 1 tab. Now, make the shatter animation layer to 3D, and animate its position in Z-axis. Go to Keyframe Assistance and choose Easy Ease. Make a new solid for cinematic bar. Make a new adjustment layer. Add curve effect to it, and adjust it. Hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Thanks for watching.